It is part of our Worldwide Network for Success program. Taking Care of Business will help you learn how successful managers and business owners manage their businesses, capitalize on opportunities, and overcome adversity. Our objective is to help you understand and apply their insights, then use your expertise in your own business or job so that you can become more successful. Taking Care of Business is sponsored by Consulting Task Force. CTF is a full-service consulting firm known for providing personalized end-to-end -end business building methods, as well as cost-saving tools and techniques focused on improving your business. CTF helps your business grow and prosper. Here's your host, Joe Camara. Welcome, I'm Joe Camara, your host for today. We're going to be talking with Steve Ritchie, founder and owner of WBXZLD Channel 56, a TV station. And that's what we're going to be talking about, building a TV station. Welcome, Steve. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm very good. Good to hear. Um, tell us a little bit how you evolved from uh, your past life into this new life. Well, I spent 29 years as a police officer in the city of Lockport. And uh, during that course of the career, um, there, I was involved in a shooting incident, which uh, I barely survived. But I did survive, got back to work. And during the course of the remainder of my career, for the past 10 years or whatever, I had to deal with PTSD issues. So. Um, I realized I was going to have to start looking for some other, I wasn't ready to retire completely from, from work at all and I, I still wanted to do something so I had to find something completely different other than uh, police related work. So I have a friend in Cincinnati that uh, actually owns a low power station and uh, talk, was talking to him and you know he, he sort of, he would explain to me a lot about uh, how the business ran and stuff like that and I, I sort of became interested and um, even though he tried to talk me out of going into the business, <laughs> I still decided to, no, nope, I'm going to look into this. So uh, I did a little research in the area and found that there was a, a, a license that was available here in the Buffalo market. And um, I talked to the person who held that license, who wasn't interested in having it anymore, and was able to, uh, to purchase that license and then uh, decided that uh, I was going to retire and I'll work on the station. So here we are. So here we are. So tell us uh, from the actual day that the station turned on, Till now, what's been going on? Um, well, it it was an eye opener for me to realize how much work was actually involved in in uh, the paperwork and everything else that has to be involved. But um, um, actually acquired the station in August and got it on the air in May of this year. So um, what's been happening is uh, was able to uh, get some network affiliations for the for my for my station, my dot one. I have a network called Cozy TV, which is a uh, Order TV shows and movies. Um, it's owned by NBC Universal, and then on my dot two right now is a, a channel called Throwback TV, which is sort of a local uh, some assembly by me of programming that I was able to acquire and put together a schedule. So, uh, and then we're waiting for three more channels: uh, Retro TV, Heartland TV, which is a country music channel, and uh, PBJ, which is a kids channel. So explain this for someone who's not familiar with the low power and the the dots, because uh, I'm not all that familiar with it. Fifty six dot one means something. Fifty six dot two or fifty five dot two or whatever. Right, right. Um, back a few years ago, the FCC decided that all stations had to go digital. They were broadcasting analog, which meant you know you used to um, get one one TV station, one channel. Uh, when you go digital, you have the capability to uh, multicast. So you have a number of different channels because you have so many megabytes that are devoted to your channel and you can use those as how you see fit. So um, you can pretty much squeeze six what's called sub-channels into one channel. And uh, most of the stations that broadcast over the air here in Buffalo actually use more than one channel. So uh, yeah, but the only way you can get those extra channels for the most part is to get an antenna get to over the air. So. That's so it's a digital antenna, right? Right, a digital antenna. It doesn't have to be high def, though. No, HD. No, just a digital antenna, and, and you can buy them at Walmart, um, relatively Radio expensive. Shack. Radio Shack, um, or buy them online wherever you might be able to find them. But um, in, when you buy one, you're you're going to be surprised at the number of stations that you can uh, you can find because not only between the Buffalo market but the Canadian market also, it opens up to you in a wide variety of uh, choices to watch, and it's free. Yeah. I think on your uh, website you have the, a listing of stations. I think you have over 30. Yep, um, and it uh, so needs to be updated. It's, it's always getting updated because there's been additional channels in this Buffalo market alone that have come on. And uh, just 
uh, all sorts of different choices. It's what you get on cable TV is you can get over the air. Um, maybe not your ESPN, but a lot of different variety of you know, women's channel, men's channels, sports channels. They're all there, free. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Well, I think that's an important point, so that's what I'm going to ask you. When someone asks you what business you're in, what do you tell them? How do you, how do you phrase what your uh, activities are? I am in broadcast TV is what I'm in, so, uh, you know, that's uh, what I tell people. Because some people ask, well, are you on cable? And I said, and I explain them, no, we're not on cable. We may eventually get one of the channels on cable, but we're, uh, we're on uh, broadcast over here TV. Uh -huh. um, and uh, there's some programming you're just rebroadcasting from others, but in our particular case, we're making an original program. Do you have interest in having more original programs? Right, and that's the history. How we got connected was that uh, on my webpage, I posted a, for people who might be interested in producing their own program uh, to get a hold of me. And you were actually one of the first people to get a hold of me. And, uh, and we talked a little bit. I thought this would be a perfect type of relationship because of what your goals are and what my goals are is to provide for local programming and local people to have an opportunity to use TV if, uh, for how they want to use it. And uh, so I thought that would be a good idea. So reaching that audience out there that, um, you know, you can't, obviously, with the full power stations here, they have sort of, uh, you know, they're owned by corporations. They're not owned by local people. So um, our station would give a little bit of a local fire to it with some local programming. Great. Well, we're excited to be on TV. As you know, we've been broadcasting on radio for quite a while. Now we have an Internet uh, radio station that's our own. And so we're going to try to simulcast some of our content, uh, like this program. We'll try to air on the radio and see how that works. And the beauty of that is that that's worldwide coverage, so that's good for both of us. Hopefully you'll get more interest from people in a, out, out of the area that you can cover uh, with your own signal. Right, and exactly because of being um, reaching out to uh, a client that maybe wouldn't normally advertise on TV or um, maybe couldn't afford to advertise on a full power station or whatever. This is a, a great opportunity for, yeah. for them, too. Great. Well, we're happy about it. I'm glad you're happy about it. Tell us about the range of uh, products and services you provide. Uh, what we provide is uh, we're just putting together our sales team now. Um, presently, we're airing what's called direct response ads, which call 800 number, but we're going to start airing local ads. We're going to start, uh, if you have a, a small business in Obviously, uh, you've never advertised on television before. Maybe you're a mom and pop business. Um, that's who we sort of want to reach out to also and show you how that it is affordable to, to advertise on television. You're not going to have to pay thousands of dollars if to run a, a commercial like you would on a full power station. And, uh, you know, um, it's going to give them the opportunity to, to reach an audience that, you know, if they only advertised in a newspaper before or on the radio before, now you have a visual an opportunity to visually uh, uh, market your products. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm hoping that uh, you know the local businesses and the smaller businesses will that want to reach out to those audiences uh, will advertise on our station. Um, we will have up on our website a um, an address link that uh, people could click on and contact our sales department as well as a telephone number. Great. Now, as far as producing the video, we're doing our own video right now. Uh, if I wanted to have commercials and advertise, would you help me with the videos, or would I have to come with a video? Uh, we, right now, we don't have the capability to produce those commercials. We have somebody we could refer you to if you wanted to produce a If you have already have a, a commercial, that's great. Um, but we do have somebody that we are working with that can produce a commercial for you. Has done it before for businesses all over the area. So uh, we would refer you to them. Presently, um, we will eventually be able to do that ourselves, but uh, right now we're, we would do, uh, go through that process. Great. But, and they could also um, be interested in producing their own show. So if they were in the healthcare field or something of that sort, uh, and they wanted to have a, a TV show a locally produced, they could do the same sort of thing? Right. Um, just by, I mean, we're working together, so um, if they're a business and not, the focus of this show is business to business, which I thought was a great idea because you don't, on television, you don't see a whole lot of business to business. Um, and this gives us stuff too. So if there are a business out there and you want to market to another business, then uh, to be able to, you know, air this type of show and, you know, be part of this show, um, 
I thought would be a great idea, and, and, and they can see their business grow that way too. Mm -hmm. you know, I, well, there really are lots of opportunities for retailers. It just doesn't happen to be our focus. But uh, if you did get a customer who was a retail customer and they wanted some ideas about how to do what we're doing, I think we could help them with that. Um, let's talk a little bit about the financing required. Uh, did it require outside financing, or are you basically self-funded? Um, no, it did require some financing outside, and that was an eye-opener in itself because when you start a new business, it's, uh, it's pretty hard to to get people to talk to you, but I did find some people that were willing to put up some money, and uh, so we were able to get some things financed. But it is it is pretty much, it's tough to start a new business. Uh, oh, yeah. It really oh, yeah. is, and it's unfortunate, that, but I understand that some businesses do fail, but, uh, you know, it's tough because I, I imagine there's probably businesses that never get a chance to get started that might be great, turn into great businesses, but because they were new, the person was new to the business world, uh, they never got the financing. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you did. Um, was it mostly uh, family and friends, the people contacts, that sort of thing, rather than a bank? You didn't go to a bank? No, I went to a financial institution. And, oh, you did? You know, oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, I, had, I had, I obviously, I through the course of my career, whatever, I had, did have a substantial amount of the investment with my own money, um, but right. there was some outside uh, financing also. Good. Okay. Well, as you say, we've been in this uh, business, consulting business, for a long time, and uh, we've we know about how challenging it is to find money. However, these days, banks may not be as easy to get money from, but uh, uh, obviously it was good for you. But uh, most often people have to start with family and friends. And, uh, but I, I believe because of these crowdfunding programs that are uh, on the internet, uh, there's a lot more opportunity to get seed money these days than there used to be. And that's a good thing. Uh, tell us a little bit about the skills and knowledge that uh, are required to keep your business operating. Well, one of the skills I have to do every day, um, you have to have computer skills because most of my programming right now, obviously some of it comes through satellite and the receiver, but uh, my local channel that I program, it's, it's all on a server and you have to program that every day, your schedule and your commercials and you have to do that and even on for the channel, Cozy channel, to, even though it's automated, you have to decide what commercials are going to air when. So um, that's a big part. So that takes up a big part of my day is, is sitting on the computer all day programming and doing stuff like that. But also um, paperwork. I mean, there's a lot of paperwork to do. Um, and I sort of jack of all trades. So if there's something physically wrong, I go down there with a hammer or a wrench or whatever and fix whatever the problem is. Or um, if it's uh, technical or whatever, computer related, I have to get on the computer and do it that way. So yeah. right, and and paperwork and fi you know financing stuff and stuff. Yeah. Keeping track of that. I do everything right now. Yeah. So well, our phrase is, "You're everything from the janitor <laughs> to the president." That's, right. That's true. Yeah, that's I know. True. It stinks. Tune in to Heartland for the best in true country music. Relive vintage specials, one of a kind concerts, and country music's earliest videos. Heartland is the heart of country. The only place where you can find country music, country stars, and country lifestyles 24 7. Heartland, the heart of country. Mystery Science Theater 3000 returns on Retro TV. Ah, good old-fashioned nightmare fuel. Is he always a hundred years old? Ooh, that's my spice rack! Oh. Whoop! Oh, I'm sorry. Let me clear the shot. What is this, a Bergman film? I'm not getting smart. I can't. It's called Evil Kid. The bots are back Saturday at 8 on Retro Television. Retro TV, your home for classic television. The greatest shows in history are here for you to enjoy. Join Cosby and Culp as secret agent men in I Spy. Ride along the Ponderosa with the Cartwrights in Bonanza. Hit the beat with Joe Friday in Dragnet. And that's not all. Retro TV offers endless fun and excitement for the whole family to enjoy. Retro TV, the best in classic television. Uh, tell us a little bit about your marketing system. What do you do to attract uh, either advertisers or customers like me? Well, the marketing system that I use right now is uh, social media, Facebook page. I have a Facebook page. Um, 
which we have well over a thousand likes already and people comment on it all the time as well as our web page and I get dozens of emails every day from viewers that are asking questions about the station and requesting programs and requesting certain things and uh, that's our, our right now our main and we're pretty successful with that and it's relatively inexpensive uh, Facebook is obviously free to, to mm -hmm. put your uh, you know to use that and it's it's a, a great tool as far as the social media goes because a lot of people are on Facebook and I was able to spread a lot of word about the station just through Facebook before I even came on the air. And then with the web page, um, obviously you, know, you get a little bit more information about the, about the station there and the schedules and stuff like that. So that's right now, the marketing that I'm doing right now is, is that way and uh, obviously on-air promotions and things like that. So if I had a, a TV commercial already in the can and I wanted to just re-air it, are there any restrictions as far as um copyrights and things like that how would I have to own the commercial what's what's the deal um, yeah you would have to own your commercial and usually when you uh, when other people create that commercial for you um, sometimes you get ownership of it sometimes you don't um, it depends who you have to check uh, who produced that commercial for you um, but for the most part if you have ownership of that commercial um, sometimes you have to buy it from the, the first company that produced it for you but if you have ownership of that commercial, you can you can use that and you can use it on our station. So when you say you might have to buy it, if if a TV station produced it, you might have to buy it. But if I produced it through an independent right exactly. videographer, I could I would probably own it. Right. Is that right? So, right. As it works, for the most part, if one of the full power stations in the market, Channel Two or Four or Seven, whatever, produced the commercial for you, they're going to own it, and they're not going to let you use it anywhere else other than their station, more than likely, unless you paid them to do that. And they'll let you know that up front when you do that. Right. But uh, um, that's one of the things when we do it, when we produce the commercial for you, you own it, and you can use it on any other station, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, in our business, we like to talk about bottom line ideas, and this is an important one because it's not true just for uh, videography, but printers. Um, if you're starting a business and you have somebody print something, you may not actually own the mechanicals that are required to produce your printed materials, so you better make sure you get the rights to the mechanicals because I learned this the hard way a long time ago, and uh, it's one of those little things you don't ever think about, but uh, it's an important idea, I think. Right, right. And with our station, we do have music licenses, so if you do have music in your, in your, uh, your ad that is copyrighted, we're covered. Uh, mm -hmm. under our licenses that we have. Well, and as we do, we our lead-in is about 10 seconds, and the, so that's okay to use both because um, it's short and because you have a license, correct? Right. right. Yeah, good. Um, let's talk a little bit about the competition. Obviously, there are lots of TV channels and stations around. Um, what do you think is going to set you apart from other stations? Well, I think the big thing is what it's going to cost to advertise on the station. I think that's going to be the big thing that's going to set it apart as, uh, as apart from the other stations. Um, literally, you can probably pay $1,000 for a 30-second ad on one of the full power stations during prime time. And uh, we're looking anywhere between 5 and $10 for a 30-second spot, you know. Um, and they're going to be offered in packages, so you can make even save even more money. So um, that's the first thing you're going to notice. And, and again, we're over the air in a Right now, about 15% of the people in this Buffalo market actually watch television, and that's how they get their television over the air. But that 15% doesn't include people who watch both cable and over the air TV, so that it might be another 10%, maybe 25% of the market. And it's growing all the time. Mm -hmm. People are, mm -hmm. you know, can't afford cable, can't afford satellite, so they're cutting the cord and they're finding that they can watch TV over the air and maybe get through Netflix or one of the other services, their movies and their other cable TV shows they can watch for eight bucks a month. So mm -hmm. between the combination of the two, they can save quite a bit of money. Mm -hmm. And what about the future as far as um, uh, broadcasting over the internet? Will you be able to do that? Uh, if I just wanted to log onto the internet and access to your station, could I do that? We can, what, we'll, what we plan on doing is putting the locally produced programs that we own, um, that we can do on the internet, on our webpage. Uh, or maybe even on the YouTube page, but the shows that we can't stream our channels because of the fact of copyrights, um, it doesn't allow us to do that. But for any show that we actually produced, we can uh, we can stream it. 
So that's it really could be uh, access worldwide then. Oh, exactly. exactly. Wonderful. So if somebody produces a show, like this show here, yeah. they're going to be able to see it all over the world. Yeah. And just for somebody who's watching, if they can't see the whole show and they want to listen to the rest of the show, uh, we're going to rebroadcast our uh, audio portions on our radio station called WWYNS Business Radio and dot com. If you want to just log on, you can go to our website and uh, listen to the show if you didn't, weren't able to catch all of it. So we're going to have multiple uh, channels for our, our stuff as long as you, as well as your stuff. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so the, we've been talking a little bit about the geographic market. For those that don't have internet or whatever, if they do have a, a, an antenna, a digital antenna, what, what's your reach, your reach in terms of geography, roughly? We reach all of Niagara County for the most part, and most of Erie County. Um, as you hit southern Erie County and start hitting the mountain areas and stuff like that, our signal probably won't reach that far, but uh, we also do reach into Canada. We have people from Toronto that have uh, sent us emails that they're watching our station, and people uh, to the west of us in Canada, Fort Erie area, that are watching our station. So uh, we do also do reach some Canadians, but uh, there may be some areas in there that uh, might be called dead spots where because of tall buildings or something sure. like that, you're gonna have a difficult time. You might need a better antenna. But, but for the most part, Niagara and Erie County are, are uh, Super. our audience. So what does an antenna cost me if I don't have one at the moment? Well, an antenna can cost you uh, anywhere between ten dollars and that's I have a ten dollars uh, antenna at my house that I watch the station with so but I live in North Tanawana so um, uh, and uh, it could go anywhere between ten dollars and a better one it might cost about ninety dollars a hundred dollars mm -hmm. um, those ones can go either in your attic or on your roof and uh, if you got one on your roof um, you're gonna get a whole plethora of stations um, that are gonna be available to you so um, it just depends on where you are and what type, how far away you are and what type of reception uh, you can get from where you're at. But uh, if you start off with a uh, less expensive one, you can always take it back and exchange it for a more expensive one. So that's why I tell people, you know, start off with a cheap one and work your way up if you have to take it back and try something different. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if, if like, uh, we were talking about inexpensive commercials, so if a, if a business wanted to start a low-level relationship with you, would they start with commercials or are there other options? Um, no, uh, probably would start with commercials. I mean, uh, again, uh, we have packages available. You can just, you know, obviously I wouldn't recommend one ad, you know, that's not, you know, but right. um, a, a series of ads that are relatively very affordable for you. You can try that out if, it, if you notice an increase of business. I mean, there's commercials you can put in, in the commercial, you'll mention WBXE and we'll give you an extra 10% off or whatever, just so you can find out is this ad working for me or not, um, and uh, different things like that. But uh, I think you'll find that uh, from my emails right now, the people that are watching are, are uh, a target audience of, uh, of people from the age of uh, 18 to 65. I mean, there's a whole demographics of, of people out mm -hmm. there available that you want to reach. Great. Well, we're hoping to build some of your uh, business listeners because uh, obviously our program is business oriented. So we're hoping to alert people to the fact that we're going to be on TV. Right. You read our press release we're about to right. issue. And uh, so we're, we're hoping to expand your, uh, your listenership and viewership uh, as we do our thing. And, and I'm excited about that relationship. But by the way, we're going to air every Wednesday at 7 o'clock on 56.2. And then on Fridays, uh, we've decided to have a replay on our dot one on Cozy, and it will be on Friday mornings at 7.30. And we just thought to reach the business people after work and then maybe before work as they're getting ready um, would be a good a good time. Great. Well, thanks for giving us a plug. We're going to ask you to uh, tell us a little bit about your phone number and contact information in a minute. Um, tell us about your plans for your staff. Uh, as your business grows, well, what do you see happening? Obviously, we're going to add a sales staff and as the business grows um, we're taking baby steps step by step and we'll add um, uh, you know camera people and some uh, people like that that uh, can help us produce shows so uh, and if we you know our sales increase we'll add more sales staff so we'll grow again baby steps we'll grow as we as we get the business and I didn't want to take too many big steps ahead of time to get, the, uh, get behind the eight ball. Well, so what do you think your biggest challenges are down the road uh, in, as you see things unfolding? Um, obviously, our biggest challenge is um, 
getting this, you know, convincing the advertisers that this is the place to go, um, getting the smaller businesses that maybe never advertised or uh, on television before to come to us and, and try it out on us. And, and if they're successful with us, maybe they, they again, could take baby steps and move up to the bigger stations or whatever. So um, my, my whole process of starting the station wasn't to become rich. That's for, um, I, obviously, I want to make money, but I also want to, I'm a local person. I want to help out local people, you know, produce shows and also local people would be able to advertise because television is a great tool and a lot of people don't take advantage of it. And one of the reasons why is some expensive cost if you're if you're advertising, but our costs will always be always be low. Great. Well, one of the things we try to ask every business owner is if we're going to develop a relationship and get the maximum benefits with the minimum investment, uh, what would you recommend? What are the steps we should follow to um, make that relationship? For my, the customers? With you, yeah. Um, well, first of all, if they if they want to be on their show, contact you because that's that's a good a good step if you're a business and you want to reach out to other businesses. That's that's a great step to go, and that's why I'm excited about this relationship. Um, if you're um, just a small uh, business or whatever, and, or even a bigger business, and you want to reach out to an audience that uh, is a little diff different than maybe some other audiences, um, so we have all the different channels we have offer reach out to a different audience. There's you know. With the retro channel, you're reaching out, reaching out to baby boomers. With the Heartland, you're reaching out to the country music listeners. With PBJ, you're reaching out to the younger audience. Um, so, uh, and with some future channels that may be coming, you'll be reaching out to different. So we can offer you the, all different types of demographics, and um, I, I think that's an advantage over um, other stations that may just have one or two Great. options. So let's say somebody wants to contact you. What's your website address? Our website address is www.wbxztv.com. And uh, if they go to our contact page there, you'll see all the contact information um, for sales, for information, for uh, and the phone number that's available on there. If you have a successful business and would like to participate in a future program, call 575-RESULT-6 any time of the day or night. Taking Care of Business is sponsored by Consulting Task Force. CTF is a full-service management consulting firm known for providing personalized end-to-end -end business building methods, as well as cost-saving tools and techniques focused on improving your business. CTF helps your business grow and prosper. If you missed some or all of our show, you may view it again by logging into our website. This free sign-in provides you with many benefits. Just visit www.networkforsuccess.com for more details. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Cozy TV, the newest member of the NBC Universal family, a new network designed by broadcasters for broadcasters. Aloha! Look at me! Here you are. Charlie. Already launching in the top markets, including New York, L.A., and Chicago, Cozy TV will bring back some of the greatest shows in history and bring home the ratings. Sit back and relax during the week with a $6 million man, Dr. Marcus Welby, Charlie's Angels. But to work for a man you've never laid eyes on it seems so impersonal. Highway to Heaven, The Bionic Woman, Magnum P.I. Well, I just want you to know that I'll be thinking what a wonderful guy you are the whole time I'm swimming. Plus, hit movies. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! And preemptions featuring local windows, specially created for broadcasters to showcase local programming, sports, or news. So did you hear my cell phone go off earlier, Janet? Uh, was that your cell phone? phone. <laughs> then on weekends, Cozy TV in its prime is all about living life to the fullest. Broadening your viewership <laughs> with exclusive originals. So let the fun begin! With celebrity butts that have graced the stew. This is Kareem Abdul Jabbar. She is dull. Whether you're buying, selling, redesigning, or just dreaming, we've got you covered. Welcome to our home. <laughs> Let's check it out. And that's just the beginning. Now, our bachelors have started cooking for our bachelorette. What excuse have you made up to get out of the date? I have to wash my hair. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the
The past and present have come together with Cozy TV. It's the easiest decision you'll make all day.